Hello, I'm Barbara Inderwish, Assistant Director of Electronic Research Administration in UCI's Office of Research. This video is about how to use Cayuse 424. We encourage you to use the Quick Start Guide. It is available for reference on the Electronic Research Administration website. Click on the link to download a PDF of the Cayuse 424 Quick Start Guide for Principal Investigators. We recognize that everyone has unique learning objectives. While some may want to start at the beginning, Others may need just a quick refresher on how to accomplish a certain task in Cayuse. This video is separated into sections, so you can go directly to the topic that you choose. When you hover the mouse cursor over the scroll bar at the bottom of the screen, a thumbnail is generated revealing what you are about to see. Grab the position knob and move it to the right until you find the next full screen title. Another option is you can click on one of the time code links below the screen. Topics included in this video are how to access and update your professional profile, how to grant permissions to your professional profile, and how to enter your salary into your professional profile. The last section explains that salary and fringe benefit information in your profile is optional. After viewing this video, if you still have questions, help is available. Contact our UCI ERA support team for questions about Cayuse training and user access. eVisions, the vendor that is providing us with Cayuse, administers software support. When you're working in Cayuse, you can click on the support link in the lower right corner of the welcome page. Jonathan Liu, our ERA officer, is going to demo how to use Cayuse. Just keep watching. This section is about how to access and update your professional profile in Cayuse 424. We designed this video so that you can pause at any time to follow along in your browser. First, you'll need to make sure you have access to Cayuse 424. Once in the system, you'll be able to update your own profile and grant permissions to your administrator so that they can update and maintain your profile for you. Let's begin. First, log into Zop Portal. Click on the Research tab, and then click Cayuse 424. If you don't see the research tab when you log into Zop Portal, contact the ERA support team. Once you are in Cayuse 424, navigation within the system is easy from the Overview tab. From here, you can update your profile, download grant application forms, and access proposals in which you have been added as either a PI or a senior key person. Now, the information in your profile will be used to autofill sections of the grant application that you'll be submitting through Cayuse 424 and that'll be a real time saver. That's why it's important to keep your profile up to date. Let me show you how to find your profile in the system. On the Overview tab, either click on the People tab or the Professional Profiles link. Obviously, I won't be using your name. How about I use Ann Teeter? After you enter your name in the text box, click Search. If your search doesn't yield any results, please contact ERA Support so we can create a professional profile for you. Once you have accessed your profile, go through each parameter on the left to edit and complete any missing or inaccurate information. It is important to make sure that you have marked your ERA role as Principal Investigator. Continue editing each parameter as needed. You can save at any time by clicking the blue disk icon. Note that one of the parameters is Salary and Fringe. Including this information in your profile is optional. We'll cover this more in detail in Section 3 of this video. This section is about how to grant permissions to your professional profile. Now, we understand that updating and maintaining your profile can be very time consuming, but that's why it's important to know that you can grant access to one of your administrators and they can then update and maintain the profile for you. To do this from your profile page, access the permission screen by clicking the key icon located in the upper right corner of your profile. Click on Add User to search for the name of the individual you want to give access to. Once the name is added, select the appropriate permissions you want to give that individual. It's recommended that you at least give them List, Read, Write, and Autofill access. Once that is complete, that person will be able to update and maintain your profile for you. This section is about how to enter your salary and fringe benefit information into your professional profile. Faculty salaries and fringe rates were not automatically added to profiles. You can add this information into your profile, but it's optional and at your discretion. 
The benefit of adding this information into your profile is that it will get auto-filled into the budget sections of your proposals and the system can then do the auto calculations for you. To add this information to your profile, click on Salary and Fringe Worksheet on your profile page. This is where you enter your salary according to your appointment type as well as your fringe benefit rate for budgetary purposes. If you've granted permission to an administrator to update and maintain your profile for you, please be sure to have a discussion with them on whether or not you want your salary and fringe rates saved in your profile. If you decide not to enter this information into your profile, it just means that you have to enter it manually into each proposal that you prepare. But once it is entered, the system can still do the calculations for you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact ERA Support or eVisions. In this video, we covered how to access, update, and grant permissions to your professional profile and how to enter salary and fringe benefit information. One-on-one -on -one training by our ERA support team is available. We encourage you to use Cayuse 424 for your next federal proposal submission.